programming brought to you by AWI Networks, Smarter Internet. Thanks for joining St. George News at 8. I'm Scott Beadle. Authorities are asking for your help in locating Drew Black, a person of interest in a homicide case out of White Rocks. Duchesne County Sheriff's de deputies are working with the FBI and BIA to investigate the death of Sukaki Manyhides, a 20-year-old woman whose body was found on a road northwest of White Rocks. Authorities are investigating that case as a homicide. 30-year-old woman Jandi Nephi was arrested in connection with the case early Saturday morning and is currently in tribal custody. Investigators are still looking for Black as a person of interest in this case. If you have any information, you can call the FBI, BIA, or your local authorities. Authorities say human remains were discovered near the Virgin River in Washington County on Friday. Deputies and detectives went to the remote area in the southwestern part of the county. Families out recreating in that area came upon the remains and called 911. While the body was in an advanced state of decomposition, initial determinations are that the body was of a female. A medical examiner will work to determine the cause of death and to see if foul play may have been involved. Detectives are also trying to determine an identity. A St. George man was flown to the hospital Saturday morning after falling about 100 feet while repelling in Birch Hollow. The man actually fell on Friday, but by the time crews reached him, it was too dark to get him out safely that day. Kane County search and rescue crews were shuttled to the man who fell. He was a canyoneering guide. Since the man was in stable condition, crews opted to stay the night with him until he could be safely flown out in the morning. At first light, a Utah Department of Public Safety helicopter arrived and hoisted the patient out. The severity of his injuries have not been released. Two people were hurt in an early morning ATV crash off of Water Canyon Road in Hilldale. Authorities say the driver lost control while speeding through a curve, then running into a tree. The male driver and a female passenger were first stabilized on the scene, then taken to St. George for evaluation and treatment. A program in southern Utah is seeking to combat the effects of Parkinson's disease through boxing. Rock Study Boxing uses non-combat fighting to provide exercises that Help slow the progression of the disease. That can enhance walking, flexibility, balance, and overall well-being. Students and staff from Southern Utah University's Rural Health Scholars Program are helping to provide this program. The Southwest Parkinson's Disease Fitness Alliance is planning to open next month at Snap Fitness in Cedar City. For more information, you can visit their website or call 435-463-7285 and volunteer you can call 435-865-8660. As Texas gets pummeled with unprecedented flooding from Hurricane Harvey, the victims aren't just getting help from their neighbors. Volunteers from around the country are mobilizing, offering to help any way they can. Many of them are on the ground in the hardest hit areas already. Elizabeth Hur has the story. From Missouri to Florida, New York and California, Volunteers from coast to coast. All right, you guys be safe out there. Answering the call for help. We need citizens to be involved. This is a landmark event. FEMA officials stressing that help isn't just welcomed, but necessary. They are veterans of the World Trade Center, Katrina, Rita. And these trained first responders, rescuers and nurses, not the only ones signing up. So the order that you called in earlier, mm -hmm. we decided to donate the entirety of it to you. Are you serious? Yep. Businesses are donating food, so groups like Operation Barbecue Relief, a charity founded after the Joplin tornado, can deliver hot meals to those in need. Do you guys need water? Then there are organizations like the RGV Mud and Sand Recovery Team. Thank you. Handing out water and supplies after rounding up the volunteers on Facebook. They'll find a way to get, get people out there to wherever you're at. And some are even using an app called Zello. It's the primary source of communication for members of the Louisiana Cajun Navy, a group of citizen volunteers with boats and pickup trucks formed after Katrina. All we can do is try to help them get to dry land, so that's what we're here for. 
And in these times of need, of course, monetary donations are another way that so many people give. So just be sure to do a little homework and make sure that you are giving to a legitimate organization. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers has your Southern Utah forecast coming up right after this. The weather tonight is brought to you by AWI Networks, smarter internet. Welcome back, everyone. A good Monday evening to you. Have been seeing a little bit of rain make its way through parts of our area, anyway. Parts of southern Utah, northern parts of Arizona, seeing some showers and thunder showers pushing through. Here in the St. George area, not seeing too much in the way of rainfall right now, but it looks like increasing rain chances will continue now over the next couple of days. Maybe not so much on Tuesday, but definitely by Wednesday and Thursday, seeing some better chances of showers or thunder showers in our forecast. Again, seeing some of those over in Nevada as well. They continue to push their way through uh, parts of southern and even central Nevada as well as we go through the overnight hours of tonight. Take a look at some of our high temperatures in from today or should take, take a look at what we're expecting to see next couple of days. I should say we'll see a lot of sunshine. Very warm once again as we head into the afternoon hours of our Tuesday. High temperatures into the triple digits here in southern Utah. And as we head to your Wednesday, a little bit better chance of some showers or thunder showers coming back into our area. We'll call it partly sunny with some scattered thunderstorms in our region. It could keep an isolated thunderstorm around even as we get to Thursday with mostly sunny skies, keeping the triple digit heat around southern Utah as well. But there are some signs of a little bit cooler weather trying to get in here just in time for that holiday weekend. And by Labor Day itself on Monday, could be looking at highs back in the mid to upper 90s in most areas. Taking a look at some of our high temperatures from today, 96 degrees Enterprise, 108. The high temperature in Las Vegas, we saw highs again, upper 90s to near 100 here in parts of southern Utah late this afternoon as well. Now for tonight, mainly clear skies out there. A few clouds from time to time, maybe an isolated shower, especially around Cedar City. 57 degrees, the low temperature, 74 degrees, the overnight low in Hurricane, 75 degrees St. George and 76 in Mesquite. As we go through the day on our Tuesday, temperatures getting back close to mid 90s around Cedar City. So some very warm temperatures expected. Not really the best chance of rain on Tuesday. Looks like a better chance coming in for the middle part of the work week in St. George and Southern Utah. We're going for 105 as our high temperature on our Tuesday. So again, some very warm temperatures expected across Southern Utah. Lots of sunshine, not much in the way of rain on Tuesday afternoon. Here's your surface map. High pressure still controlling our weather, pushing most of the rain down through parts of central and southeastern Arizona, getting back into New Mexico and also Colorado. With the high pressure, though, just a lot of hot, dry air in our forecast the next day or so. But again, may bring some isolated chances of rain back to us as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Partly sunny skies around Cedar City, 95. The high temperature on Tuesday, 95 in Enterprise. We'll go for temperatures in the triple digits from 109 in Mesquite to 105. The high temperature in St. George, 103 in Hurricane. And again, partly to mostly sunny skies, very warm for our Tuesday. As we see in Cedar City, next seven days, then temperatures close to 93. And a chance of some rain on Wednesday, more chance of rain on Thursday too, high of 88. And it's cleared out just in time for the holiday weekend. Temperatures though still pretty warm into the 90s. For St. George, Southern Utah, we'll look at temperatures in the triple digits. That chance of rain for Wednesday. Maybe some isolated chances on Thursday too, but keeping triple digit heat in our forecast through the weekend. But Labor Day itself, maybe upper 90s back by Monday of next week. Be nice to get back to double digits at <laughs> least when I saw the 109 on the board there for a moment. It's yeah. like, boy, somebody just run in some popsicles for us or something. <laughs> we need something, something to take care of the heat. That's for sure. But maybe a little rain chance on Wednesday and Thursday might help cool us down help just a little a bit. bit. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. Still had uh, a little bit of humor in that terrible situation in Houston. The man pursues a water sport he loves in a living room. That pounding rainfall in East Texas has brought one man's passion for fishing from the great indoors to inside his own living room. A viral video recorded by Vivian Saldana shows an unidentified Houston man wading through nearly knee-high floodwaters in the living room, attempting to, well, catch a fish with his bare hands. Now, this catch doesn't come easily as the man leaps about the house, splashing into the water with a fish darting away. The fish, though, is eventually captured when it tries to swim past him again. Man falls to his knees, hands landing on that fish. <laughs> yeah, a pretty good size fish, too, to be catching in the room. It is an interesting yeah. looking fish. Some pretty unique looking uh, fin on that. Thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It almost kind of has a shark looking type 
thin to it, but I don't know if that's what it really is. But Some other people in the newsroom who were checking this video out earlier were saying kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. so it kind of sure looked like, but I, I guess it's in the living room, but get it out of there any way you can and yep. catch it one way. Well, and in part of the shot, you see a fish mounted on the wall, so maybe that's <laughs> what's going to happen to this guy, too. There you go. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great night.